Hello all, welcome to channel Tech Tutorials Learn by Doing. In this channel, we post tutorial videos on tools and technologies that are being used in IT industry. This tutorial series covers tutorial on Amazon Web Services, also known as AWS. So, let's get started for the day. In last video, we learned about AWS IAM service, which is used to manage access to our cloud resources. And on this tutorial, we will learn about AWS VPC service, which provides us network resources in the cloud. On completion of tutorial, we will have architecture something like this. So, let's have discussion of network parts only. We can see that there is one VPC, and under that, there are three subnets in total one public subnet and two private subnet in two different availability zones. There is Internet Gateway, which is used to connect to internet and which is used to connect our resources from internet as well as there is net gateway which is used to connect internet from our private instances there are also security groups so let's go to aws and make native component of this architecture for this i'll go to services and type ppc here it will give dashboard with different services available on AWS. For making NAT gateway, we require Elastic IP. So let us create that first on Elastic IP. Elastic IP is a static IP that does not change even if we terminate our instances. So allocate here. We can see that Elastic IP is allocated. So we'll go to PPC. VPC dashboard and click on launch VPC wizard. We require one public subnet and two private subnet, but we cannot see option for that here. So we'll go with one public subnet and one private subnet here. IPv4 CIDR is as in our diagram. We can see that in dot zero dot zero dot zero slash sixteen. Private subnet with CIDR 10.0.1.0/24 and public subnet with CIDR 10.0.0.0/24. So let's create that. PPC name lab PPC. Available region I will give on East 1A for this and East 1B for another. We have subnets across two available regions. So public subnet one and said here is 10.0.0.0 slash 24 and for private subnet 10.0.1.0 slash 24 available zone is 2 a private subnet name private subnet one and for elastic ip we can see that the elastic ip option is shown here that we created earlier so i leave other as default and click on create vpc it will some take some time for creating vpc it will create route tables subnets and other necessary components so that our vpc and our subnets can work as desired so i will pause this video till vpc is created and resume after it has been created successfully We can see that message BPC is successfully created. So I'll click OK and go to BPC dashboard. We can see that there is one BPC, two subnets, two route tables, one internet gateway, one net gateway, and security groups and network SLs also. So I'll click on BPC. The name is Lab BPC that we just created. We can verify IPv4 CID address also. Now we have to create another subnet, another public subnet in another available zone. So I'll go to PPC dashboard again and I'll click on subnets and click create subnet. PPC ID is of lab PPC. Subnet public subnet to public subnet to let me verify CID address also. Okay, private subnet 
3.0 slash 24 so private submit to private submit to availability zone in another availability zone yes 1b happy before shared error this is 10.0.3.0 slash 24 and i'll click on create subnet you can see that our subnet also has been created so we'll have two private subnet and one public subnet that is is in our architecture here if we click on subnet IP of private subnet 2 you can see that the uh, route table is associated here route table and if we click on route we can see if it has access to internet or not so you can see that it has access to internet only via net gateway so it is private subnet so our vpc component is created here let us create security group also for creating security group i'll go to vpc dashboard again here and click on security groups and create security group we'll have security group for this load balancer that is it should have access to port 80 or 443 as per protocol http or https we'll have one jump server here we should have access to ssh as well as http and https from public internet and other all private instances should be connected from this jump server so let's go to here and security group jump server security group jump server security group uh, uh, public access to public access from internet on port 22 port 80 may not be required since we have to do SSS only on inbound rule SSS port 20 and sources anywhere so we can see that anywhere ip before for security reason we have to choose my ip if ip is static else anywhere description public ssh ss there is no outbound rule and i will create security group then we should create security group for our PPC also. Sorry. Then we should create security group for our load balancer also, which requires public access to port 80. So I'll rename this public access from as uh, jump server, jump server security group. Okay. Group. So let us create another security group for load balancer. Load balancer security security group public HTTP SS BPC is our lab BPC. And rule it should have HTTP from anywhere public HTTP this is text will give name also name is load balancer security group create security group you can see that load balancer security group also, also created so we have created security group for this instance and load balancer now we will create security group for our web servers 
so which requires ss on port 80 and ss is from load balancer since load balancer is going to connect to those servers so create security group web server security group description ss to web server from load balancer we'll do load tutorial on load balancer in our upcoming videos so i'll do add load here support is for http http and here source we can give our ppc id also so it should have access from load balancer so load balancer security group as well as we should be able to log into this server via jump server so it should have access to a port 22 via jump server jump server security group jump server security group this is port 22 so we can give here tag which will help to identify web server security group and finally we'll create one last security group that is for our database instances so again i'll go to create security group db server security group from web server and jump server web server should be able to connect database instances as well as if we have to connect to database instances then we'll tunnel through private our jump server so jump server address create inbound rule 3306 port let's say mysql my SQL and source is from web servers web server security group and another is port 3306 from jump server jump server tag okay, I'll give name db security group and click on security group we can see that our architecture for network component has been completed so let's go through it once on bpc dashboard we can see security groups security groups have been created and if we go to our network SSL, we can see that there are network rules defined. We'll try to alter those rules and see what effect will be there on altering those rules. We can see that all traffic has been allowed here. So in next tutorial, we'll see what will happen if we allow or reject some traffic here in network SSL as well as in security group. So this was about PPC guys. In next tutorial, we'll learn about EC2 service. We'll create EC2 instances of Linux and Windows in PPC defined by us. And we'll check our security group also. So if you like my video, click on subscribe button and bell icon also so that you'll be notified on future tutorials. Thank you.